Okay. Now we take another example. The question is to integrate dx by x square minus 2x plus 3. Now in questions like this, you know, we have standard formulas for integration of this, integration of this, integration of this. Okay. So I'll try to convert this into one of these forms. Let's see how do we do that. I can write this as x minus 1 whole square plus this. Okay. And now if you take x minus 1 as t, you will get integration of dt by root t square plus root 2 whole square. Okay. Now you know that integration of dx by x square plus a square is given by uh, ln of x plus root of x square minus a square plus c. So this becomes ln of t plus t square minus a is root 2. So t square minus well I think it's x square plus a square. Uh, let's recall is it x square plus a square or x square minus a square? Um, I think it's plus a square. Okay. So it becomes t square plus 2 plus c. Now replace t with x minus 1 x minus 1 whole square plus 2 that is x square minus 2x plus 3 plus c okay okay now let's take another example let's say we have integration of the form px plus q divided by x square plus px plus c dx in this type of questions what we need to do is you can write you should write px plus q lambda times derivative of x square plus bx plus c plus some mu why we are doing this will become clear when we solve a question and write this as 2x plus p plus mu now compare the coefficients and solve for lambda and mu now why we did this will become clear when i take one example so let's take an example let's say you have been asked to integrate 4x minus 1 divided by x square minus 4x plus 5 dx okay so what i had told was if you have questions like this try to write this as lambda times derivative of this derivative of x square minus 4x plus 5 plus some mu constant so this is can be written as lambda into 2x minus 4 plus mu if you compare the coefficients you'll get lambda equals to 2 and minus 1 equals to minus 4 lambda plus mu or your mu equals to 7 okay so lambda is 2 mu is 7 let's remember that so i can write 4x minus 1 as lambda times 2x minus 4 which is the derivative plus 7 okay so i can now write this as Okay. Now you see that when I wrote this in this form, I was able to segregate this whole equation to two parts. Okay. 
and the first part is very easily integratable because if I take this as t, this is dt, this is dt. So this becomes ln of t because dt by t integration is ln t. So this part becomes ln of x square minus 4x plus 5. Okay, and to solve this part again, I need to write this, express this of the form of x square plus a square x square minus a square so that we can apply some standard formula. So I'll write this as x square minus, you can write this as x minus 2 whole square plus 1. Okay. Now this is of the form of dt by t square plus a square integration whose answer I know as tan inverse t by 1 by okay so this i can write it as tan inverse x minus 2 constant and this is ln of x square minus 4x plus 5 so my final answer is this okay